Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss what merge multiple rows into one column without duplicate. So, this is my table and this is the record inside the table. So, I just see ID, it's a duplicate here, name and DOB. But location at here are different. So, I will now merge record after that. Uh, when that font location at here are different to location, so that display into this format. So, I add here this is ID. And there is no any ID duplicates here, and this is the ID here or two. So two is only one time. So this display here like this format, and here three like this format. Suppose if I enter add here or three and giving the name Sam, and here after or zero nine twelve or one double nine one. And here I'm uh, uh, DOB name ID all are same, but add here I'm going to give the location add here Netherland. So Netherland is my location. So the output add here display. So this Netherland uh, comes at this point. So add here comma and here after Netherland. So I want to. Uh, I'm going to output like this format. So this is the one important interview question merge how to merge multiple rows into one column without duplicate. So let's see. So add here I'm using the table employee table. And here this is the record inside employee table. So let's write the query. So add here first select a statement here selecting ID name here after DOB or date of birth and here after let's use add here st of function. So add here I am going to use st of function. So about the st of function, so this is the built-in function and it has the three or oh sorry four parameter expression to be search where care here a start position number of cares in replacement or at your expression and it returns vacuum one. So at your in simple word. So about to extra function. So this is the string here a start here length and here add a string. So let's first I'm going to write to the query. Hereafter I'm going I will explain all those things. So at your or uh, extra function here select or uh, distinct. So I'm using distinct to keyword. D I as D I and C T distinct keyword. So if that font any duplicate value, so by using distinct keyword, so that eliminate. Now here after comma here. Now here after. So let's use location at location column. Now here after select from. So let's keep the or uh, table and employee. And here give the table alias T2. Now here after let's use where clause and here T2 dot. So if you press dot, so it's coming ID. So I will now or do matching on ID and here T1 dot ID. Now here after let's use uh, for X. M L and here after path and here single cut single cut and here comma and here one here one and here after single cut single cut and here let's keep the alias call one now here after let's uh, Right, add here from employee employee table and give the alias name T1. And here after making group so group by on ID and here after name and here after DOP. So if you execute to this query, so see add here. I am getting the expected output. So this is my output I want. So I am getting the expected output. 
Now let's understand how the query works. So first I'm going to explain about to stop function. So stop function at your stop function I'm using. So stop function has four parameter. So first part of stop function is so add a string and you have to start here after length and add a string. So if you give at here, so this is a string. So if you give at here one, okay, and here one, and here this is the length. So that is start from one and that will go to the eight and at this point. So first that count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So total of computer this cat this string characters are eight. So add here in this place the value come Microsoft. So let's execute that. So see at here Microsoft programming it's a coming. Suppose if you give at here three. So only that replace. So first that count one two three. So this is a three. Or uh, or uh, characters are come. So add here if you execute this query. So in this or uh, three in this or uh, com part the so value come Microsoft here after computer and programming. So let's execute that. So see at here Microsoft here a space is there here after computer and here programming. So this is the use of str function. So str function delete the sequence of character from the string and then insert another sequence of character. So it's inserting another sequence of character into the string. And starting at a specific position. So add here this is the position you have to specify and this is the length. So this is about a stop function. So add here this is the stop function part has the four parameter. So this is the add here a string part here, a start length and here replacement a string. So this is the things. Now here after let's execute or separate this query. So control B. So in place of location in loc in at here you can also give location ID. So if you, you know, give at here ID, so let's execute that. Yeah. So this is the output I'm getting. No, so at so at here I'm going to copy this and pasting add here. Control B. Now here after now here after let's or do separate to on outer query so this is control c and here control b so this is the inner query part here yeah, this is the inner query part and this is the outer query so if you just copy that and here paste it down so here let's remove comma and execute this query so at here I'm getting this output. So let's copy with header. Copy with header. So this is the things. Uh, so this is the auto query part. So at here I'm doing equal operator where T2. So T2 is the part of uh, inner uh, table employee at here. And T1 is the part of outer table employee T1. So T1 has the outer order part. So order. So this is the one. So at your first that check one. So one equal to three. So this condition is not true. So do one more thing. Let's copy here or this query and paste it at this position. So see at here, uh, this is the employee T2. So at here, this is the condition. So um, uh, where T2 dot ID. So this is uh, here. Uh, this is the T2. Table alias T2 and here, this is the T1. So at here, that one by one check. So one equal to three. So this is not okay here. So one equal to uh, here, this equal to this. So this part is here, it's equal. So this condition is true. So that go to 4 XML. 
path. So at here for x y path one comma one. So you got the x y part. So let's go down. At here this is one important thing about the x y path. So if you execute this query, so select a comma for location here from imply and for x y path. And here if you execute this query, so the output come at here this format. So see at here New Jersey at here or uh, New York here California and here this is the uh, external part so at here and uh, for external part comma simply convert column data into so at here by default to uh, if you execute here so if you execute here select uh, So at here I'm getting the, the data in this format. Okay, this format. But after applying XML path, so simply it converts column data. So this data convert into this format. So this format it's converting. And here a string, but if path we are giving a column, so it will be not created a XML tag. So at here if you don't give any path, so at here there is no any path. So if you execute this query. So see at here it's a creating XML tag. So scroll here uh, slash so this is uh, starting and here slash that means this is the ending. So this is the use of XML path. So when that font here or uh, this kind of values, so this kind of sorry, not this one. So when that font this kind of values here, so this value is now converted into the this format. So this format it's now converted. So now let's go to this point. So add here id. So 1 equal to 1. So it's okay. So first add here f for xml part. So I'm going to apply on a stop function on location. So first come add here new jersey. So add here first come new here after jersey. Now here after this uh, there is a comma added. So again uh, this time so add here this is okay. So here after that check, so one is now here after that check from uh, this one. So New York at here ID equal to ID. So this is okay. So now uh, that at here this time that include at here New York. New York that include. Now here after one that uh, check, so ID equal to ID. So this time that include North Calo Carolina. Now here after 1 equal to 2, so this is not okay. So here after 2 equal to 3, it's not okay. Here it's not satisfied. So at this time 2 equal to 2. So this point that to add at Oklahoma. And here after 2, and here after 2, there is no any things. So here after 3, so 3 equal to 3, so it's okay. So this time that uh, it is now uh, display California. So suppose if you add at here Netherlands, so suppose at here there is a 1 Netherlands, so 3 equal to uh, 3 Netherlands, so this time that will add here Netherlands. And here this is for id 1 here let's give id 1 here id 2 and here id 3 so this is here so this is about to xml path so whenever that font to data in this format so by using xml path so it's converted into here like this format simply convert so this is the use of xml path and here so this is uh, here. Uh, so this is a stuff ID. So this is uh, at here auto query. This is uh, till here from there. So this is auto query and this is the inner query. So inner query that to so for, first that select distinct uh, location and with ID here I have given ID from employee and here I have created a uh, table alias the name is t2. So at here that uh, t2 dot ID. So t2 dot ID means one. And here t1 dot id so the t1 dot id if value is match so if the value is match 
so that that go for xml so for xml and the user for xml so whatever the value is coming at here so first to that to here or oh, the value of one so this value is now this value at here this triple one so this convert into this format here after two here after three and here group by so i'm making the group by so id in one group name in one group because at here if i don't make the group so if i make the group at here so so at here this the four oh, this is the uh, select a start for mp so this is the record so after making the group so at here i'm making the group then i'm getting the output at here this so this at here or uh, this the output i'm getting and here or uh, that will check so this output check with this output so this id check with this id so if the condition is match after that the output will display like this one so this the things here so this the most important interview question so in this example there is a concept of a stop function and here for xml path so this also two important things in this question or uh, how to merge multiple rows into one column without duplicate so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you